What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra DLC VGC moveset guide. Once again, a lot of qualifiers there before I can actually get to the whole thing. Uh, but today we're gonna be covering probably one of the most busted Pokemon in the DLC. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they really, really like, they, they made something insane here when they made, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Glastrier. I'm gonna call it Glastrier or Glastrier. Anyways, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Typically, when you see a pure ice type Pokemon, you think, okay, well, the fact that this thing's slow means that it won't be able to take a hit, and also they made a defensive ice type once again, which is counterintuitive. It's absolutely counterintuitive to make a defensive ice type. But when you give it offenses like this, you're just, oh, like ice typing is such a phenomenal offensive typing, and when it has the type of coverage that uh, Glacier has, it gets absolutely insane. So if you guys are excited for this moveset guide, or if you enjoyed it at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. All of those are great ways to support the channel, and I'm well on the road to 20,000 subscribers, which is insane to say out loud, so any amount of support is appreciated. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. I actually only have two movesets for you today, and that's because this Pokemon is very one-dimensional in my opinion. It's a very one-dimensional Pokemon that does its job extremely, extremely well. So the first moveset I have for you guys is actually a weakness policy set, which is probably the most common way to run it right now. The fact that this thing is ice type means that initially when you look at it, you're like, okay, weakness policy is not the best idea because, you know, it's not going to be able to eat a hit. But when you look at these stats, 100 HP, 145 attack, 130 defense, 110 special defense, and 30 speed, immediately your mind should go to trick room weakness policy, dynamax that thing, destroy something. And usually an ice type wouldn't be able to pull it off, but with the coverage this thing has, it's absolutely mind boggling what this thing can pull off. And the thing is, they made Spectrier, this thing's counterpart, the ghost type, absolutely garbage when it comes to coverage. Because while it is a fast, specially offensive Pokemon with an absolutely massive 145 base special attack and special moxie, uh, it, it gets no coverage. If they have anything that resists or is immune to ghost, you just absolutely get walled by it. But this thing, it has coverage, so much coverage. All right, so this first move that we're running, Oh, also, this thing has the ability Chilling Nay, which is essentially just Moxie. Shout out to me, I guess. This thing is going to be running Icicle Crash, Close Combat, High Horsepower Protect with a Weakness Policy, Max HP, 100 Attack with a Brave Nature, 156 Defense, and 0 Speed IVs with a Brave Nature once again. The reason we're running it this way, uh, with so much defense investment, is because you actually get one really cool thing out of this, no pun intended. By maxing out the HP and giving it 156 Defense EVs, you're actually going to be able to take a max rock fall from stack attacker while you are not dynamaxed, essentially giving you a free weakness policy if you can remove the sand or because uh, you're going to die if the sand doesn't you know, go away or if um, you get a low roll, you'll be able to live that. So that's actually a really cool uh, calc that you can run. And the fact that you're taking less than 100% while not dynamaxed against a stab max rock fall or even a stab max deal spike that's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, and the reason we're only running 100 attack is because it legitimately doesn't need much more than that, especially at plus two or even plus one. This thing has so much coverage. Ice Go Crash will turn into Max Hailstorm because this thing's going to be a, your primary Dynamax target, really. Ice Go Crash will turn into Max Hailstorm, setting up hail for you, uh, removing that sand if need be, and also dealing massive damage to pretty much everything in the metagame. You can actually beat that close or you can actually beat that stack attack at 1v1 uh, by going for close combat into it, or even a high horsepower, which are both times four super effective against it. And close combat will raise your attack stat, giving you essentially a plus two attack if you manage to KO that stack attack with that move, because you're gonna get plus one from the max knuckle and you're gonna get plus one from chilling nay. High horsepower will boost your special defense, making it easier for you to take special moves, uh, and just overall making this thing a nightmare to knock out. It's already a nightmare to one-shot to begin with, but once you start boosting this thing's special defense, it gets even more scary. Final move is going to be Protect, because it is important to get a Trick Room off before you start attacking with this thing, it makes it a lot more reliable in the end. So yeah, that's the first moveset. Honestly, this thing's terrifying. This is the moveset you're going to run into a lot, whether it be this set where I give it a little bit more defense or just max HP, max attack with four defense. Either one of those sets works perfectly fine, and it's absolutely devastating to a team. Next up, we have the Assault Vest set, and this one's very basic. The only thing is you get a little bit more coverage on this. We're running Assault Vest, max HP, max attack with a brave nature, four special defense, and zero speed IVs. The reason we're running the Assault Vest is because this thing is an Ice-type and there are a lot of special attacking fire types in the metagame, whether it be Charizard or Heatran. 
You're going to be able to eat that hit up, especially if you're Dynamaxed. Ice Go Crash once again, Max Hailstorm, Close Combat, Max Knuckle, uh, High Horsepower turns into Max Quake, and we actually get to run Smart Strike here, which will turn into Max Steel Spike, which is actually a very good move to have on this thing, particularly for the fact that you don't want to get one shot or even two shot by things. So once you're Dynamaxed, if you start boosting your defense and special defense with Max Quake and Max Steel Spike, this thing becomes absolutely devastating to teams. So yeah, that's really all there is moveset-wise, but I want to get into partners, because what makes this thing shine is not this Pokemon on its own. As much as many merits as it has towards itself on its own, the partners are what really make this Pokemon. So some recommended partners I have for this Pokemon are, are Tapu Fini. And the reason Tapu Fini is actually really nice is because Tapu Fini will be able to counter the fire types and fighting types that this thing does not want to have to deal with, as well as rock types. It has great synergy with it. On top of that, Misty Surge will set up Misty Terrain, making it so this thing can't be burned or status in any way, shape, or form, which is really, really good. Heal Pulse is also a massively important move to have on this thing uh, because it'll be able to just heal this thing's HP up uh, under Trick Room or even outside of Trick Room to make sure it doesn't go down in like two or three hits. It, it could make that thing like a six hit KO, which in VGC, a six hit KO is really, really good. I guess it's really good in singles too, but... Next up, we have Indeedee Female, and the reason this is good is more so for partnering up with the Trick Room setter that this thing wants. Uh, also, to redirect hits away, Indeedee Female will make it so Psychic Train goes up, you can no longer fake out the Glacier. I always like mess up the name, I can never remember it. Uh, on top of that, you can redirect away hits and also make it easier for the Trick Room to go up, whether you partner this Indeedee up with Sack Attacka, uh, Cresselia, or Dusclops. Speaking of which, oh, also this thing is Helping Hand, which is nasty. Speaking of which, we have Stack Attacka here. While it is one of the better counters for Glacier if you play your cards right, it is also a phenomenal partner for it, and that's because this thing can set up Trick Room for Glacier, and while they do share uh, a fighting type weakness, it is kind of irrelevant with how many physical fighting types there are and how physically defensive these two Pokemon can be once they're Dynamaxed. If you can get up that Trick Room with Stack Attacka, you have two very threatening Pokemon on the field. Stack Attack is able to Beast Boost by getting KOs, and Glacier is able to get Chilling Nay Boost by getting KOs as well. And their coverage is actually great. Rock, Steel, Ice, that's great coverage in the metagame. So this thing is absolutely devastating next to Glacier. Next up, we have Dusclops. Dusclops will typically run an Eviolite and get up Trick Room very reliably. You can Pain Split your Glacier if you really want to get it healed, and if you want to cut the damage that the opponents do to it, you could actually go ahead and go for a... Um, you could go for a Will-O-Wisp against your opponents, or even just go for a Brick Break next to the Glacier to self-proc weakness policy, which is always a fun little strategy you can go for. Next we have Cresselia, which is a very solid Trick Room Pokemon once again. Uh, the reason this Pokemon in particular is great at Trick Room is because it's very difficult to one-shot, and with proper support it's very difficult to stop this thing from getting up Trick Room. On top of that, it gets access to Ally Switch as well as a like just so many other support moves, I couldn't really list them here if I wanted to, uh, but it's just a great Pokemon overall, and you can get a lot out of it, whether you run Helping Hand, Trick Room, or Ally Switch Trick Room, whatever you want from this thing, it can usually help out quite a bit. On top of that, it also gets Safeguard, which is like a, essentially like a manual safety goggles. Final partner I have for this Pokemon is going to be Clefairy, and once again, it's a redirector, but also this thing is able to use Friend Guard, an ability which cuts the damage that its partner Pokemon takes uh, to three-fourths of the usual damage, which will make it easier for you, for you to get your weakness policy off, uh, as well as the fact that this thing gets Helping Hand and Redirection. It's overall a great partner for this Pokemon. While they do share a Steel weakness, it's pretty hard to find a Pokemon that synergizes with a Ice type very well because of how many weaknesses it has overall, so you can kind of just take the L on the Steel types and say, all right, well, I'm going to redirect a hit away anyways, and then I can just max knuckle on that thing and get a KO. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Pokemon in the comment section down below. Do you think it's busted? Do you think it's bad? I don't think anyone would ever call this thing bad. It's been, it's been making rounds in the showdown ladder and doing absolutely insane. But yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and join the Discord. But with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.